we have here at Frankfurt Motor Show our, I would say, best Mercedes. Mercedes, this is S-Class Coupe. Uh, it will not be called CL anymore. Uh, we will actually use the name after three generations of Coupe again, S-Class Coupe. And actually what we see here is, I would say, uh, very close to production, which we will introduce next year. When you start working on, let's say, S-Class Coupe, it's all about proportions. And we always had this, I would say, dream or perfect proportions. That means cap backward. Uh, this is real, real drive car, very, very long bonnet. We even a little bit extended the bonnet more by adding very long power domes yeah. to it. We lowered the roof. It's about 40 mil lower than the, than the current CL. We shortened the overall length of the car by 70 mil. So it's about five meters and two centimeters. And uh, what we did on the concept, uh, we widened it 10 mil per side. First uh, for us or for me, it's we have to be able to recognize this car from 50 meters. That's all about proportion. And then when you when you approach it and then you see, okay, there's everything there for a reason. Yeah? We have a so-called dropping line because the car does not have an extreme wedge anymore. There's nothing aggressive about this car. Yeah, uh, there are so many car companies out there. They are, uh, let's say, uh, sharpening uh, the edge. Yeah? We pay attention to surface between those edges. And uh, that's uh, what it is. Yeah? It's, it's just full and uh, very uh, generous surfacing. We call it, you know, internally, internally is our design philosophy, essential purity. Yeah? In essential, that's for, that, that's for me, you want to approach the car and touch it. But it's pure, that means you cannot reduce anything. It would not work. The tail lamps, uh, they are part of, uh, I would say, a new strategy also that we will use for every, let's say, sport car or coupe in the future. We have, this company has quite a few coupes, C-Class, E-Class, uh, we have here S-Class. And as you maybe see, like on the current, the Sportius 1 SLS, we move the number plate into the bumper. Yeah? So we really uh, pronounce uh, the badge, the star, and maybe, uh, I, guess, uh, I guess, everybody remembers 300 SL from the 50s. This is something very, very uh, typical Mercedes, or used to be, so we will grab this theme again, and this will be our, let's say, overall theme for the rear treatment of every coupe in the future. And definitely, uh, that's for we will look, we will use very slim and horizontal two-piece lights on every limousine. We have a one-piece upright light with a number plate between it. And in the front, definitely, when you look at Mercedes, you look at the eyes and the, in the definitely the face of the car, the grill. And uh, this is again our SL Sports Grill with Central Star. We have uh, another interpretation of our so-called Diamond Grill, uh, which we already have in the production with CLA. And uh, in the lights, definitely there is a special touch of uh, jewelry, I would say. Swarovski theme, uh, but you have to approach uh, the car to see this. But from far, you definitely see our new signature line. This is daytime running line uh, that we call Torch. The interior of the S-Class Coupe 217, yes, of course, it is a show car. But uh, the new approach, the, the good story, it's very close to the production car. And the show car approach is for us to show our philosophy, our philosophy and approach about um, sensuality and purity. Yeah, the modern luxury elements, uh, we work at first, we work with the uh, pure materials. Pure materials is for us in that car, leather, glass, metal. And we show this in a nice combination with the color and trim. All the leather pieces kept in the Coco Chanel theme of black and white. We have two kinds of metals in the car. We have one, this uh, brushed, uh, big surfaces, the brushed aluminum elements. And we have this black diamond PVD. It's a galvanic system, which you get a very deep black looking of the black. And the brushed aluminum pieces, we, have, uh, we worked it out with topographic lines. So the graphic of the metal describes the surfacing of the landscape of the, in the doors. The seats have a really highly sensual moment. They are extreme sculptured, 3D sculptured, like a tailor, tailor-made uh, uh, body, and an extremely flow of the lines. And the lines, they stand in a totally harmony from the rear seats to the floor until to the front seats. Nah? So everything is floating, everything is relaxing you, 
everything is very sensual, very sculptural. And on the, on the other side, with the color of dream and the constant of the theme, um, the continuity of the theme, we, we create the story of silence and of purity. Another emotional element is the IP by itself. We have a very low point of gravity. The airbag is inside here. And so we could lower the airbag, the, the IP very low. And it's nothing else. The inspiration for us is tip of a whale fin. The upper area is far, far away to create space. And we kept it really clean. And look at that nice going together of the clean screen with this emotional element. This is for us the point of sensual and purity. The user entertainment, we kept it really consumer electronic style like. So no shishi here and there, clean consumer electronic design affected. The same with the other details, very clean, very strong. And then again, we bring it in combination with elements which we call diamond jewelry. So you see the vents, they have all on their winglet tips, they have this chrome baguette. Pure, reduced, but on the other side very rich. And we are very proud about these vents. Um, like I already said, we call them diamond vents. The doors by itself, you see this again, the same whale tip wing. It's like from a sea animal. And this, again, combined with the color and trim scheme of Coco Chanel, bright, the emotional shapes are in bright colors, the more purity shapes in dark colors. This is our concept of the interior of the car and should, like I said, should introduce the new approach in interior design at Mercedes-Benz Interior Designs.